Inflammatory bowel disease is a very interesting part of gastroenter uh, gastroenterology. There are two subdivisions of inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Now, they are completely different uh, disorders. Crohn's disease, it can involve all the layers of your GI tract versus ulcerative colitis, it only involves your inner lining of your colon. Crohn's disease can involve anywhere from mouth to anus versus ulcerative colitis involves only your colon. Crohn's disease gets worse with smoking versus ulcerative colitis gets better with smoking. So it's different, but they are put in the same place as inflammatory bowel disease. Now, who develops it? Nobody knows, but there are some interplay between your genetics, your environmental exposure, and your family history, especially with Crohn's disease. Once you get diagnosed with this disease, it can be disabling, especially Crohn's disease, because every few years, if you're not treated properly, you may lose a part of your small bowel, and then it may reach a point that you lose a lot of your small bowel and you start malabsorbing your food and you keep losing weight and you can never come out of that cycle. So that's why you need to manage them appropriately and the goal is to have deep mucosal healing. Deep mucosal healing meaning you have no symptoms. When you do an endoscopy, you have proper healing and when you do biopsy, there is no inflammation at the pathology level. So that is our, our goal in treating our inflammatory bowel disease patients. And there are different medicines available right now for ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease both. For example, for ulcerative colitis, you have five ASA agents, uh, then you have azathioprine or six mercaptopurin, and then you have anti-TNF agents. For Crohn's disease, it's usually azathioprine or anti-TNF and new, newer modalities of treatment, uh, which is available nowadays. But it's easily treatable disease. Uh, there can be some challenging patient population, but you need to stay ahead of this disease rather than allowing the disease to uh, take over your life.